In today's video, I'm going to be offering my reaction and first impression review of the Chanel Spring Summer 2021 Fashion Runway Show. Hello, my name is Amy and on this channel, we're all about making the savviest and stylish decisions around luxury fashion. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. If I can describe this collection in maybe a sentence or two, I would say that Virginie Via did a really, really good job at striking a good balance between femininity and masculinity in all the details of her garments. Lots of really wearable pieces, even though there is quite a trend of broader shoulders, so a very inverted triangle shape in a lot of the models. We're seeing a lot of the broad, rounded, sometimes even drop shoulder jackets. A lot of them are shorter or cropped. It's a very 80s style and it's very masculine, but I think if you style it properly, it can still be sort of soft, strong feminine in a way. And of course, she still has the beautiful dresses, pieces that are quite feminine incorporated in the collection. So that's really, really nice. I'm seeing a lot of details also in all the costume jewelry pieces. I'm especially loving the fine chokers and the fine belts. There's a lot of belts that I would love to get my hands on from this collection. There's also a lot of chunkier accessories as well. We're seeing a lot of asymmetrical necklaces, a lot of pearl accents on the accessories such as bags and belts. She's also incorporated this bag charm as a very statement shorter necklace, or there's also a longer version. In fact, you can even buy the crossbody version. Of course, to go along with these very statement jackets, there's also a lot of crop top and the Bermuda short to go with very boyish in a way but very comfortable and very wearable so I feel like as long as you're getting it in a size that looks proportionate to your body because these models you have to know that they're very tall right so they can definitely pull off a much wider shoulder but on a person like me who is much much shorter if I get those same wide shoulders it's gonna look ridiculous on me so as long as just slightly broader than my real shoulders it will still look quite nice and it can still be very wearable I'm also finding that the colors that's being used are very nice and neutral definitely my taste because lots of black and white which I'm a big fan of there's some reds there's some blues but also still a lot of pinks and lavender which is still going strong going into spring and summer I'm also liking that even when a jacket is on the longer side so aside from the more cropped jacket a lot of them are still cinched in at the waist so it feminizes the silhouette which does make it more wearable. In the handbag department, there was this mini size seasonal bag that has a top handle. There's also this metallic cage mini, and it looks like there's a pouch inside. You can't really tell exactly what it is, but that's definitely an interesting and very not wearable piece, but very interesting and definitely a collector's piece. Extra nano bags. I don't even know what you can put in those things but it is really cute. It does work really well with the whole vibe though, like the whole, ev everything else oversized, but the bags are nano, nano, nano size. So overall, I'm finding the collection really romantic with a good balance between masculinity and femininity. It's a very pleasing show to watch, especially even the background with the huge Hollywood Chanel sign. It's so grandiose, but simple at the same time, just plain white. You don't really need much more than that. I mean, that's already enough. I think it's very extra in a way. So I definitely loved a lot of things from this collection. Even the necklace with the bag charm on it. I wonder how heavy that is, but I think it would look so epic on just like a sweatshirt because for myself, I do live in sweatshirts a lot of times for comfort. I would love one of those oversized shoulder jackets as long as they still do fit nicely enough on me and not so super oversized. Yeah, in conclusion, I find that Virginie Via is great at striking a good balance and that the collection is still quite romantic and yet still looking very wearable and comfortable, especially given that uh, going into 2021, not knowing if the pandemic is going to slow down or stop at any point. I mean, we, we know it will, but we just don't know when. So uh, it's good to have comfortable clothes. Even luxury can still be comfortable, right? Anything a bit oversized is usually more comfortable. And it does look a bit more masculine, this collection, but there's still a lot of feminine dresses. I feel like the direction is definitely more on the wearable, very... Um, uh, 
probably very successful in the retail not as much in the like wow factor for the runway the big hollywood chanel sign the size is huge and very extra but aside from that it's very simple and just white uh just just enough to make it grandiose but still very simple and elegant and uh just enough to <laughs> to show that it's a Chanel show, right? I've kind of scanned through the um, comment section on their official video and a lot of very negative comments, a lot of comparing with Karl Lagerfeld and of course we can never take away from what Karl has done but I really do appreciate what Virginie Via is doing and her vision and her direction is still quite beautiful. It's just different. I'd be curious to know what your opinion is of the collection or of the different pieces. Thank you all so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, I would love to have you back. So please do consider subscribing, popping a couple of videos that are related to this one that you might want to watch. And I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.